Get him, bro. Shovel. Knock him by the head. Can you see him right there? What do you mean? Are you thinking about not being careful? Oh gosh. <laughs> so we are going down to the other pastures to feed the other animals. We've got all the animals up here fed. The female goats and then our new goat, King Tut, and then the alpaca, the rabbits, and Walker. And the quail. <laughs> Coming down here to feed this crew. <laughs> Trying. Caesar. Good boy. Good boy. Yes, thanks, Man. Donkey wants something, Katie. <laughs> Here you go, Donkey. That's a good boy, Donkey. Hey, Caesar. He does a sweet puppy. You smell that as stinky as stink. Stink, stink, and stink. Donkey's being so good eating. Mm-hmm. I done popped him upside the head the other day. Gosh, he stinks so bad. You saw that most oh, oh. Oh look, and that's why you only got no feed. Feed. Oh. Like there's literally two feed things. I know. <laughs> Dang! There goes all your food. That's why Willie and them comes down here to eat it. Poor donkey. Why he don't ever get no food? These hooligans. Good for nothings. I know, I mean, well, honestly, this time of the year, you don't even have to really feed them because they got all the grass to eat. I know, that stink, stank, and stunk right there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh he about to show. <laughs> what kind of ring G got going on? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, you know what? You can eat that. Baby, you working hard or hardly working? <laughs> Is that what you say to me? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, that cannot be good. I'll tell you if you just spray them with a... Put Bailey in there. She'll nip them in the butt. Man, it's fire. What just happened to me? Somebody gave me a taste of my own letter. <laughs> <laughs> he said, <laughs> he said, ah! He was looking like, what? He said, watch your mouth. Surely you don't chewed that by now. Don't call me Shirley. <laughs> well, just because he likes to take his time. Oh, oh, oh. That just can't be good. Maybe we need to shave those horns off that joker. Gosh. That's got to hurt. Mmm. Oh. I mean, it's fire. And look at how much Stank has peed all over himself. He is pure orange. Bailey, you smell that, dude? I know. They got good sniffers, too. I bet she's really thinking about he stinks. Good boy, Caesar. Oh, that sounded bad. There's a car wreck over there. Somebody got a headache. Well, they're shaking their heads like, ugh. 
All right, I think that's everybody. Got fed and watered. Something got me. I think it was the fence. I'm talking and driving. So Brandon's over here. Pretty sure he saw a snake. So we're going to check it out. Just going to cut across. I don't know where G is. Anyways. Where did it go? I was over there near the metal and I saw it go across the metal. So it went towards the, um, that fence wire. Sugar Bell? Oh, oh okay. Yeah, that fence wire. Yeah, so he hadn't come out because I already kind of had this cut. So he's just either by the wood, he could have a nest. He could have a nest up under there. You know what I mean? So we could pull back that sheet and I could be ready to shoot it. I just don't want to pull the sheet and shoot. You know what I mean? If you can help well, me. If I had a grabber or something. That, I mean, they're going to grab it by the hand. Brandon. Just grab the sheet. Was it a black snake? Oh, uh, look brownish. Okay, so that could not that could be a bad thing. <laughs> you don't just pick stuff up. Okay, if it was a black snake, would that not have been a bad thing either? <laughs> like what? I mean, as far as venomous. Because it's brown, well, that could be a bad thing. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's slithered left and right. Is that, is it, when it comes out, I'm saying get back because I'm going to shoot it. Yeah. But it went across so, there. So those things are quick. Yeah. But it's scared of you. It ain't coming after you. I know, and he's gonna die. All right, you're just gonna scare it off. Get a grabber. Oh gosh! Here, hold the camera. <laughs> get a grabber. Look at you. <laughs> Yard work, baby. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> he's a <my> strong arm. <laughs> Take my strong grabber. <laughs> Look at that. Crap, so, monster. Do do I want you to grab that, or here, hold the camera. I'll grab it. This here. is a bad idea, Brandon. It's a good idea. This is really not a good idea. Gosh. I got the upper hand here, okay? Not with your hand like that. One sheet down. Hang on. Sun's going down. It didn't crawl under there. How big was it? Uh, I mean about that long. It happened quick. <laughs> what is the goat counting me off every time I move a sheet? <laughs> every time I move it, she goes, man. You got shoot flip flops on. Quit! You're getting really close to that. What if it's right there? Here. It's scared of me. Which I'm about to just grab the wire and move it. So I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen. Is if I get this moved, the mower's going over it, and I'll hit it with the mower. You know what I'm saying? Right, give me that grabber now. <sighs> Please be careful. Believe you me, I ain't thinking about not being careful. <sighs> this whole area is good. I'm gonna drive over with the mower real quick. Okay. It's crazy. That's why you can't leave junk everywhere mm -hmm. out here. I was thinking about this too. Careful. Cricket. Safety zone. Here we go. You want me to hold it? Uh, okay, if he comes out, I'm, about to, I'm gonna pop him.
didn't even see it. Yeah, he's quick. I, well, I, all of a sudden I saw you, but... Can't tell if I hit him or not. He's right in there. He's taking off. I think that's him right there. Where? Curled up. I can't tell if it's poop or him. Right here, that just moved. But it looks like he's up there. I can't tell. Um, he's on the other side of the fence. He went under all that rubble, and I was like, well, let me hit the mower over that. And when I was going with the mower, it pushed him out. And I think I hit him. I fired two shots. First one definitely shot over his head. I missed. The second one, I think it hit him. It looks like him curled up there, but I can't tell if that's poop or if that's him. Because it's getting dark and it's far away. But I'm keeping my eye on him. I keep seeing this bush move right here. Dang, all the goats booked it. Where'd they go to? Dang. All the girl goats are down there eating grass. So this is good. So I ain't got to worry about them. <laughs> I'm about to go in there and check. So he's somewhere. I don't know if he went on. So let me see that. I'm going to take that with me. Got dark quick. And of course, it's going to come and go this way. Oh, great. Come around here. All right, because I can see his tail. I don't want him to go. Hello. Well, Brandon was mowing, and there's a snake over there by the shed. Of course, it came up by the shed. Hey, Cal, go inside with your mommy. Cal, come here, bud. There's a snake out here. Come here. Well, over there where Brandon is. Come here. Let them get it first, and then we'll look at it. Okay, the bro. Shovel. Knock this out of here. Can you see him right there? Good idea. Yeah. Hit him with the shovel. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him where he counts. Shoot him. Like, how? Where's he at exactly? Look. look. Oh, he's a little thing. My room's long. What if we hit him with the shovel and then grabbed him with the grabber? Because this grabber sucks. Hey, clean my shirt. We got him. So the animal's going to live another day. Let me go show G this. But I only got the back end of his tail. I don't know if it'll kill him. I'm sure Surely, I, I got right? him enough. Yeah, I'm sure I got him enough. So we're going to make it another day. All right. We're fixing to go work on this hay. Hay bale over here. Um, I got these... Um, heavy duty like tarp plastic and basically when a little bit of wind blows it will fly away and so we started putting these bricks over it and i'll show you how we tie them off and there's a certain way you actually have to do this uh, because if you don't it's going to look like it does right now and i'm about to go show you guys that let's go down there and go check it out so if you look over there how it's kind of blowing up and you probably can't see because of the sun but down there tarps blown over so what you got to do, I'm going to show you real quick. I'm about to do this. See those orange cable or cords right there. We are actually laying a brick every bale. I'm telling you, you have to do every single bale out here or else it will blow off. Um, they've done like every other and notice it's blowing off. It, it ain't even been windy here. So we're fixing to get that straight, get it fixed. And we're going to go ahead and tie off a bunch more bricks. I bought like uh, what, 30 of them the other day. So we'll put 15 more strings out throughout the other bales and hopefully that'll fix our problem. I got my hard workers over here and they tying off some bricks but notice how the bricks you just tied off just enough for it to hang over there and that will keep this from blowing off and over so it's a big help 
Well, that, that box is heavy. Those hay bales look sweet though. Spin those tires. NASCAR. <laughs> Sounds so funny. All right, we're about to head off over to the other row down there. And we got a good little cut. I think our first cut is around 70 something. I said it in a previous video. That in my mouth. Um, but I think uh, this next one, man, I don't know, it had to be 80 or so. It was a bunch. I, I was c counting, and that was before they ever did the other field, and it was at 69. So we got a, a good amount of rolls. But it looks like we're coming up on some good shade here, too. We're going to go ahead and get this last batch done. This is the worst one that's blown off. I'm going to show you what it looks like. That's just way too long? Okay. Yeah. Do you remember my knife out? Are you good? Um, I was just loosening it and then... Oh, okay. Yeah, because y'all didn't really like knot them crazy. No. Let's see. Yeah, look, look how it's just blown off. Let's see. I think once we start to pull, I'll come over there and grab that end up for you too. Oh, Hercules. <laughs> All right. Here's it. Right there. A what? Oh, another brick, yep. Yeah. It's a brick, it's a brick, it's a brick. What kind of a uh, tarp is this again? Do y'all remember? I can't remember what thickness it was. It's pretty thick tarp though. Look at that. I mean, I don't know if you really tell. It's pretty thick. Okay, I'm coming out from back here. These gnats are about to drive me nuts. I mean, it looks like a lot still. Looks like about 12, like sets. Yeah, but string. Oh, string. We only got. Okay, three, four. Four left. We got a few more left to go. Um, the problem we're running into is we need some more rope. And to be honest, probably some more bricks. But uh, we'll probably be good for this one. But the thing is, when we get to cutting our last cut of the season and we want to cover that, that's when we're going to need a whole lot more because oh, because uh, it's going to be a whole nother row, like 70 of them. So if you're doing every one of them, that's going to be like, you're looking at almost 70 more bricks. So cost of doing your hay right there, that costs a little bit of money. So... At the same time though, we ain't having to pay a thousand dollars every time we cut and get nothing out of it. So at least we can cut and get some food for the animals. So that helps a lot. These bells don't look too bad. There's one down there that looks pretty bad, but the other ones ain't looking too bad. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that one's falling off. It's really just where they got those um, couple of bells that connect. That's really the only spot that probably needs some more. Let's go see. It's, it's getting hot out there. Seven o'clock and it's getting hot. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. Yeah, that looks like the only spot left on it. You say? Hit that pretty good. The bad thing is when we get our third cut in, we're gonna need probably 70 more bricks. Abby was wondering if y'all could take her to the dollar store. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, those are kind of blown up right there. Is this thing like way touching the ground over there? Yeah. yeah. I know. The bad thing, it's like you don't know if it's better just to get a pole barn to stack them all in or just do it this way, you know? I mean, this is the cheapest way, but... Not doing a fine job. Shut it. <laughs> Those are hard workers. <laughs> we'll slap you. <laughs> we'll slap you. <laughs> Bailey been hard at work too, just uh, scouting the area. <laughs> she back and forth. Bailey girl, you keeping watch for us? I don't know, I always wonder if a booger comes up on us and she be gone. <laughs> Bless you. 
Konnichiwa. <laughs> Thou art blessed. Nope. How's that say? <laughs> Barley. So the thing is, if you see this, they really need to hang like that. If they touch the ground, it's not going to hold your tarp on. See? Got one more. It was blown off. Come on. I know one touch landed on my lip earlier. It's lip, it's lip, it's lip, it's lip. Did you pull it, Brandon? There you go. Katie was pulling that rope up over there, and uh, it looked like a black widow came out. That would have been no bueno to get bit by that thing. So I gave it the right hand of a fellowship and popped it with my shoe. With the left hand of shoe, fellowship, whatever. It's gone now. All right, that's it. The ladies got it done. Hardest uh, workers we got out here. But they got it all done. All fixed. Now when it rains, we're good. Only time will tell on the wind test. But uh, hopefully we'll be set.